so we have Param Davda, and he's the founder of Aftrick. It's a flat food detection kit and much more. Over to you, Param. Thank you. Oh, is my screen visible? Yes. Good morning. I present to you Aftrick. The reason I started Aftrick is deeply personal and emotional. I was forced to give up my favorite sport and my dream, playing basketball for the Cathedral Middle School team. This painful truth hit my parents and I with a shock. Why? I had been diagnosed with flat feet, which caused imbalances and falls. Even being privileged, I had prolonged sprains, I had a refracture of my right wrist, I was miserable and in pain, all because of late detection. This meant a minimized window for proactive intervention. And that got me thinking, other kids must have surely had their dreams shattered in similar circumstances. And the numbers prove me right. You see, 300 million people in India have flat feet. That's one in four. And 78% of them need support, like physiotherapist connections, like exercise recommendations. You see, here in India, we say, Apne pero par khade ho jao, lekin pero par koi dhyan deta hai nahi. And that's why it's a nationwide problem. This led me to find a simple solution that was safe and most importantly, accessible. I am humbled to present Aftrix early flat foot detection. It's simple. Why is it simple? Because it's clean, because it's inkless, and because it's completely non-toxic. There you see we've just created a foot imprint. Essentially, the Aftrix flat foot detection kit includes a simple wipe coated with special non-toxic ink developed by an experienced researcher and industry expert and two specially coated sheets of paper to capture the imprinting. We then analyze a WhatsApp image by using the internationally recognized Chipos Mirac Index. A full report is then sent to the consumer with analysis of the presence and severity of the flat foot. As you can see, I've used a warm, vibrant palette and graphic heavy, simple instructions to make my packaging attractive and easy to understand. My business model has a primary revenue stream of kit sales. I then create value by adding services on top, like a flat foot report. In the future, we hope to expand it to physiotherapist connections, for which we'll charge a referral fee, as well as exercise suggestions. In terms of the large market opportunity here, out of 310 million flat foot ears, as I like to call them, in India, my serviceable market is 310,000 in Mumbai alone. And how do I reach these 310,000 people? I plan to make use of omni-channel distribution, retail through clinics and hospitals, brick and mortar pharmacies like Wellness Forever, e-commerce marketplaces like Amazon and Flipkart, as well as through my Instagram. My social media marketing strategy revolves around championing flatfoot stories, creating fun, exciting images from imprints, raising awareness, and making use of my proprietary flatfeed.in domain. And now for the money. We have an ultra low COGS of 48.50, a selling price of INR 500, and a gross margin of 90%. Over the next three years, we hope to sell 10,000 units in year one, going up to 1 lakh in year three, 58% gross profit, and net profit margins around 45%. What we hope to expand to as a vision is the e-commerce sizing opportunity. You see, the return of shoes is one of the key limiting factors in online shoe sales and incorrect sizing leads to margin dilution for retailers. With my product, I can simply sell kits to offer accurate foot sizes for consumers' preferred e-commerce brand. This solves two pain points. One for the manufacturer who has reduced return costs. And second, it boosts its customer engagement. It recommends the right shoes with data and improves brand stickiness. This is a market with over a billion Indians. Here's how we'd, it'll work. We'd sell to big e-commerce portals in bulk. We develop tech to allow for foot size detection through a scan of an imprint, integrated into that system with APIs and provide recommendations along with personalized needs. With a per API call revenue model, this has massive scalability. To sum up, Aftrick has great current and future potential. And the most important business facet, scalability. I'd now like to show you uh, my prototype that I have right here with me. One second. So here you can see uh, our flat foot detection kit packaging. Inside the kit, we provide two papers. Again, these are coated with specially, special non-toxic ink. You'll also get an envelope. And the envelope contains a wipe. This wipe is also coated with our uh, developed ink. If you see an open, pa open packet of this, this is the wipe right here. And with this wipe, if you just wipe your foot with it, press down on the paper, it leads to these imprints and you WhatsApp these imprints to us and we send you a report with an analyzing the presence and severity of your flat foot. Thank you for your time. And I'm open to any feedback. Great. Thanks. Uh, thanks, Param. Uh, very interesting. Uh, you know, super well thought through great presentation and you've, uh, because it's deeply personal thought through this uh, in a very deep way. What are the alternatives today? Suppose uh, I wanted to get detected. How do I today 
get detected. Exactly. So I'll just tell you a bit about how my flat work got detected. So I kept falling repeatedly on the basketball court. I fell in school. And so my parents thought, is there a problem? And so we went to see an orthopedic. And what they do is they just put your foot down on a paper. They take a pencil and they draw the outline of your foot. And they just measure it from there. So it's very low tech at the moment. And for that, then you have to also buy soles from them. I went to a clinic called OrthoFit. You buy soles from them. I've had to order special shoes from abroad. And totally that costs the entire process of going there back for physiotherapy every week, for buying their soles. It costs 30 to 40,000 rupees just to get your initial support if you have a flat foot. So right now you either work with that model. There are also some very high tech models. With, they build labs. These are for celebrities and sportsmen. So you go to the lab and you essentially play basketball or football on a court for about an hour. And they have pressure plates under the, the court. And with proper scientific analysis, they'll measure it. But that costs a few lakh rupees. And it's only for the best of the best where you're into sports and you really need very accurate support with your feet. So that's obviously not affordable to any common man in India or even middle class people. That's why I built a solution to attack this mark, uh, gap in the market. So there's no low cost easily accessible solution like yours in the marketplace there's no sort of no have you patented this product or this technology so uh this product is actually the imprinting tech it's used for a little bit of different application right here in india as well so people sell memory kits how it works is they'll have a frame and they'll have a membrane with ink on the back of it you press down with the foot and you get an imprint you frame it you can preserve your child's handprints your footprints old people anyone and yeah. so the reason why you can't patent this is actually because that technology already exists in the market, but they've never applied it to a medical context. And that's why uh, I differentiate from the rest of them. Got it. Uh, very interesting. Uh, all the best. Looks, looks yeah. really interesting. Amran Alvi? Yeah, terrific way to round off today. Super presentation. Love the packaging. Uh, I'm just thinking about as you scale this idea, how will you find your customer? I mean, how would your parents or you have ever felt the need to detect a potential flat foot? Uh, that's what I'm struggling with, right? I mean, are you going to go to a pediatrician and get them to urge parents or how will you trigger the thought that I could need this product? So what we do is, first of all, we want to raise awareness about why flat feet are such a big problem because a lot of them actually go undetected. When I quoted 300 million, that's just the detected cases. So a lot of people don't even know that the sort of problem exists. So what we do is we tie up with ortho clinics. We don't want to replace orthopedics. We want to work with them. So imagine if the orthopedic could now just use this imprint, very easy, five second process, and then use that instead of using the old tech pencil method. So we'd not try to replace the orthopedic system. We try to work with them. We also uh, list on brick and mortar pharmacies like Wellness Forever. So if you go into the catalog, you can see, oh, it's for detection. And that's why we priced it at 500. So it's something that the customer will see and feel excited about. Oh, maybe let me try it. Maybe I have flat feet. So that's how we plan to reach them. And also we'd hope to tie up with hospitals uh, where we'd work with new mothers. Uh, yes, you know, new mothers are very concerned about their child's health. And if there's any problem, they'd immediately want to know and try to resolve it. So we partner up with hospitals as well and try to get it into their system so that we could work with them to detect flat feet as well. That's how we hope to reach out. I think this is a problem you'll have to noodle on a bit because uh, uh, if you can get to a consum consumer, you have a huge market out there. But I'm still struggling with, you know, why on Wellness Forever would I even want to check if I have flat feet unless I'm falling and, and so on. Um, and I think the whole build you had there, right? Once you solve detection, the services, the products, that could be the real eventual opportunity for this business, right? Being the flat foot company. Uh, but solving detection is a, is a interesting one to think about. And, and you may want to look at some parallels that have done it well and created awareness. But terrific idea. Very excited oh, to hear. Um, actually, I, I just want to talk about Afric. Afric means impressions in the Nordic languages. That's why I built a brand that's around these, these sort of impressions. Oh, sorry. A brand which is built around impressions. So with these, there's so much like, like I spoke about the sizing opportunity. So we don't want to just limit ourselves to flat feet. Obviously, we want to focus right now and nail down the flat foot market. But I just want to talk about how there's so much scale even outside the realm of detection, where you can go into foot sizing. And even we can get into the memory space a little bit later, maybe in a law as a long-term vision. Yeah. So that's the kind of scale that we hope to reach with Aftrick. And that's why we have those massive projections for year three as well. Thank you so much for your feedback.